Hi, I'm Sandy, and welcome to Life with Sandy. show you the progress of our trees buddy look at that it's looking nice breezy but nice well good morning today is good morning it's just barely good morning because it's almost noon uh we have one birthday today i don't know how much you're hearing because there's a little bit of a breeze as you can see with the flag in the background i'm getting better at that look at um today is robbie uh, his old channel name was Frecky Fitwolf, but I think he's changed his channel name to Robbie Williams. But today's Robbie's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Robbie. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Well, I hope you have a great birthday, Robbie. Um, I just got back from my walk. It was drizzling when I started. Not, you know, it was not even spitting. It was just like hardly anything. But as you can see, it's. We're supposed to get rain all day today, but you know, it's May. I know it's supposed to be April showers bring May flowers, but we tend to get more rain in May than we do in April. Uh, my new plan of attack this week is change is good. So I have to stop looking at how far I had gone before, but how far I have come so far, because I've really come, I'm like 65, 66 pounds, I forget exactly. I did have a 1.8 gain this morning, uh, if you saw my uh, meeting highlights. Um, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Trust me, I'm fine with that. I know I had probably a five or six or seven pound gain last week because I really think I lost three or four pounds. I really do. And I know I probably should have weighed, but, and I would have known for sure, but I don't need to know for sure. I know in my heart of hearts that I had a loss, even though it shows on the scale of 1.8 gain, I know I had a loss. And that's all that really matters. And that's what's going to move me forward. I'm going to lose that 1.8 this week. And if I don't, I'm going to lose something. That's my that's my goal. And uh, I, I'm not a patient person. I am not a patient person. And I think I'm just so impatient about getting to these numbers. My goal for right now is to lose four pounds before the 24th of May because I looked at how much I weighed when I went to the doctors last year. And I have to lose four pounds. So that's three weeks away. I, I can do that. I know that. But if I don't, I don't. It's, but I'm not going to show like a huge, huge gain, even if I have like a pound or two gain from last year. Um, my goal is to lose every year, not to gain or stay the same. But the only time I want to stay the same is when I've reached my goal. <laughs> but for now, you know, I'm just feeling so much better about my achievements and my accomplishments. And uh, just, just trying to be a little bit more patient. And just realize that uh, I'm trying, you know, that's all I can do is try. Uh, I mean, I could do a little bit better. I know I could do more than try, but I think if you try, if you, at least you're trying, at least that's a step in the right direction. Uh, I don't give up. If I would have weighed myself last week, I'll be honest, I think I might have had a twinge of giving up in me because it just shows me how quickly I've gotten under each set of numbers and just kind of let it go to the wayside and not really let it affect me. And my goal now is just to get into the 20s. I'm in the 30s right now, so my next goal is just get into the 20s. Small little goal. I'm not looking at the bigger picture of how much I lost in the past and how much farther I was in the past. I'm just looking at the small little victories for now. And I'm going to change up my eating a little bit. I did last week. You know, I can't jump in the deep end. i got to wade in the little kiddie pool <laughs> type of thing. So uh, I'm trying to not eat as many berries. As you saw last week, I didn't eat as many berries. I'm not eliminating them. I just can't. I, I just can't. And I'm not. I'm not going to. But uh, I'm not going to eat them in excess like I was because I was eating fruit in excess. So I'm going to try this week to incorporate more vegetables into my meals. Try to change my meals up a little bit so they're not the same. I really think that your body gets used to 
all right, it's morning. She's going to have this. It's lunchtime. She's going to have that. Okay, dinner. We know what we're getting. You know, I don't want to. I don't want my body to be knowing. Oh, God, I forgot to turn my thing off. Uh, for knowing what I'm doing because uh, I, I think that if you, if you keep uh, switching things up and changing things, you're kind of keeping your body guessing. So I'm drinking more water. I kind of slacked on my water there for a while, so I'm back drinking my water again, and then. Um, sleeping a lot a lot better than I was when I was way off plan and just thinking that I'm getting rid of my stresses hopefully uh, Thursday I am going out to dinner uh, it's Jamie is graduating from nursing school I got that clear with uh, Samantha so we're gonna go uh, for dinner Thursday night we're going to an Italian place so I can order something that's I mean pasta is kind of heavy but I, if I save up my points for the day I can order something nice and uh, I never get dessert when I go out. It's just too expensive to get dessert. That's the only, I'm, you know, it's not like I'm being like, oh, look at Sandy. She's so good. She doesn't order dessert. No, I'm not going to pay five or six dollars for like a brownie or a piece of cake or something when I can make a whole box cake for like three or four dollars. Not that I, not that I need a whole box cake, but you don't, you see my correlation there with that. But uh, that's it. So Jim's working this afternoon. I think I'm going to have a piece of barbecued chicken with some vegetables for my dinner. I'm gonna put some regular barbecue sauce on it, I think. I like the uh, GL Hughes, I do like the GL Hughes, but we have some um, Sweet Baby Ray's that I think, I, I think I'm gonna to try to save up my points so I can have it. Um, I have no problem eating certain foods that are lower points, but I like butter. I'm gonna eat regular butter. Um, now the syrup, once in a while, I'll have like regular maple syrup, but the log cabin sugar-free syrup I like, so I'll eat that. You'll never see me eat fat-free cheese. No, I'm not going to eat that. Uh, I, I'm not going to eat fat. I don't eat anything fat-free. Look at me. Is that obvious? But um, what's the point of eating it just to lose the weight? Because as soon as I go back to eating, which I showed myself, I went the week before thinking I could go back to my old way of eating from way, way back. And I know I probably gained five or six pounds eating the old way because my body's not used to it. It's not like when I was eating that way, I gained five and six pounds every week. But uh, my body's used to eating healthy foods and being on the healthier side. And so it's going to revolt if I'm going to go crazy. And, uh, and I like that because it, it keeps me in check. So, all right, let's get in the house and see what uh, mischief I can get into. You know me, I always find something to do. Okay, we're going to have a Granny Smith apple and 32 ounces of water. Okay, we're on our way to Home Depot and Lowe's because um, we don't like the the towel, we don't like the towel bar holder or the toilet paper holder. Well, we like them, it's just that the towel bar. Oh, it comes out too far by the sink. Because we have a it's almost six foot long sink and counter, but they have the, it's a master bathroom, so it should really have two sinks, but it only has one sink and it's way off to the left. And so where you put the towel bar holder on the right, on the wall, it comes out too far if you're standing there brushing your teeth or anything. And the toilet paper thing, Jim doesn't like. So, what's us switch it. Again. <laughs> you always gotta have your phone with you. Look at the little wings going on still. I'm having a really bad hair day, so I'm, I'm wearing my hat <laughs> while we're going out. Plus, it's supposed to rain, so that way it'll keep my glasses from getting completely wet. Um, okay, now that Jim's gone. <laughs> I didn't like the toilet paper thing he picked out anyhow. It was like it was like the, the two stands, and then the thing flipped up and just kind of clipped into place. It just I didn't like it. I just like the things that have the little springy in it. I don't like the ones, the stands, which I know are very popular. I don't like the things that just stand on the floor. I, I don't like those, but everybody seems to have them. I don't like them. That's why they make different choices for different people. But the, to the towel bar, what I wanted was I wanted, like, you could put the bath towel on the back, and then there's a front bar that you can hang, like, your hand towels, because we have that in our main bathroom. But um, I agree with Jim. It does stick out a little bit too far, so... Okay, well, we're going to get going, and I will let you know when we get to Lowe's. Well, I thought we were going to Lowe's first, but I guess we're going to Home Depot, because we know that if we don't have a 
much of a choice of a towel bar at Home Depot at Lowe's. So let's check this out. Decisions, decisions. The next generation of home improvement materials. The next generation of tools. The next generation that's right. I like this one. But Jim doesn't. Because the screws are underneath and it's too hard to get to. But that's the one I like. But Jim likes that one there. Because then he can flip it over and put the screws in. Am I correct, Amundo? Correct, Amundo. So now the big decision. Well, oh, oh I'm looking at the towel bar. Okay. Yeah, so now we got to find uh, the 24 inch. Well, look at the pretty bouquet of flowers. Well, Jim and I went into um, Kroger because we were so close to getting 100 points on our fuel points. And so we wanted to spend $3 at Kroger so that Jim could get his hundred his dollar off of his gas. We think that once you spend 100 points that you get a dollar and a quarter, but we weren't really sure. So we wanted to check it out. So we went in there. I need a haircut. I know I keep telling you guys that. But anyway, so we went into the store and... Um, I didn't realize that somebody was following me through the whole thing because Jim was waiting for me at the front. I was just getting some, just three dollars worth of stuff that would bring us to the hundred thousand, uh, thousand spent or whatever in the month. Isn't that ridiculous? It's so easy to hit nowadays. That's not, that's not why I'm on here. The reason I'm on here is because some younger woman said that I reminded her of her mother, who passed away on this day, and so she bought. Just one minute. I'm back. Anyway, Jim couldn't figure out how to get the uh, gas. And for some reason, they gave us the dollar off. I don't know if that worked out well. Anyway. This young woman said that I reminded her of her mother. Today is the day her mother passed. And she can't... A, a anniversary of her mother's passing. And with Mother's Day coming up, she wanted to... Pay it forward for a mother. So look at these beautiful flowers. She followed me out to my truck, out to the truck here. And I got in the truck and she banged. I'm sure I didn't outrun her, but she, <laughs> I'm sure she was like behind me paying for him. But uh, I thought, what a nice, what a nice thing to do. I was just, almost brought me to tears. Almost. You know, I don't cry in public. But I thought, how sweet. But look how pretty these are. They're all like in a little handle. It's so nice. So I told her I'd say a prayer for her mother. But thank you, kind stranger. Well, I was editing my video. I saw that um, <clears throat> the sound was really messed up, and I just didn't feel like doing a voiceover or anything like that. But when I got home, I found out on our local neighborhood watch page um, for where I live, like on Facebook, that um, somebody had acknowledged her, that knew her, because at first I thought it was the scam. <laughs> I you know, I watched too many uh, criminal minds. I just thought it was conspiracy or something. I was checking it out for little uh, homing devices to see <laughs> that she was going to track to see where I lived. <laughs> I know. Only my mind works that way. Only my, well, maybe not. Kim over a girl on her phone. We think alike. So, but anyway, I called my kids and told them, and they said, you sure there's not a tracking device? Our whole family conspiracy. But anyway, that's neither, neither. I say that a lot, too. It's neither here nor there. But anyway, um, at our Facebook page, what she had done was she had gone into Kroger's, and she had these little sticky notes. And she had taped on the back of the sticky note a $5 bill. And like by the cat food, she would say, my mother loved her cats. Hope you buy something for your cat to make it a little bit more special for my mother. And then, like, in the bread aisle, she might have said, this was my mother's favorite bread. You know, buy, have, buy this loaf on my mother or whatever. And she went through the whole store, and she put all these little $5 little gifts on. And for some reason, she decided I needed flowers, <laughs> which I loved. I absolutely loved the flowers. But um, I just thought such a nice, kind gesture. So I was talking to my daughter, Christy, and uh, she's like me. <laughs> She's so much like me. I said, well, you know, that was such a nice gesture. So when I'm passed away, maybe you can do that with some of the inheritance you get. She's not spending my money. 
I said, well, what if I put in the will, I'm going to put aside a certain amount of money that you have to do it. Oh, I'll do that, but I'm not giving you, I'm not giving you credit. I'm going to make out like I'm the one being the good guy past paying it forward. I thought, I raised your right. That's <laughs> not right. Not that I raised your right. I raised you just like I, I am because my kids are, they're like little mini me's. They really are. And I, that's why I love them so much. But anyway, I just thought that was such a nice gesture that she did for her mother. And it wasn't a scam. So look at me being so cynical. And it, it turned out it was really just a nice gesture. But I know I sounded so funny. I sounded like a ra See? Think of it this way. If I was going to send a ransom note, I wouldn't use my real voice. I would use a, dis a digital, you know, enhanced voice. And so that's what I did when I was explaining the flowers. Criminal Minds. I get me every time. I'm going to have a light breakfast. I'm going to have a banana, an egg, and some orange juice for two points. So it's a two-point breakfast. Okay, for lunch, I'm going to have a half a cup of cottage cheese for three points, and some pineapple and tomato for zero, and a cup of tea. So three points for lunch and two points for breakfast. That's five points so far today. Okay, for dinner, I have a piece of chicken with some barbecue sauce on it. I did use the uh, a tablespoon of the Sugar Ray Sugar Bay Honey Barbecue Sauce. Anyway, for three points. Some cold slaw, which I'm going to count for two points. That's five and a roll for five, but I'm on a roll, so that's ten. And some tomatoes. So it's a ten-point dinner, and I have three points for lunch. That's 15, so 17, so... I'm well within my budget, and I'm happy with it. Okay, that's going to do it for tonight. Um, the dinner was delicious. I'm so glad I had it, uh, obviously. <laughs> but um, when Jim gets home, we're going to do our tag video for tomorrow. Once again, Jimmy's not available. I switched my top because I had spilled something when I was eating when I was eating dinner. Um, I spilled something on my shirt, and I thought, I can't get on the video and let you see how messed up I am. So I threw a load of laundry in. I threw it in the, you know, I had to do some laundry anyhow. So I threw it in the laundry. I know I do laundry all times of the day and night. I don't go by the clock. Um, and so uh, I put some stain remover on it, put it in the washing machine, put this this shirt on. And then while I was doing it, look what I did. <laughs> you can dress me up, but you can't take me out. Look at I spilled laundry detergent on the sleeve of my shirt. <sighs> Only me. Only me. So um, tomorrow Jim's friend's going to come and he's going to drywall the ceiling in the shower. Jim's going to continue on with whatever he's doing in there. Jimmy's going to come over and they have to take our mirror off the back and take the counter out because my other counter's coming on Thursday. Mm, that's about it. Mary's feeling really very weak. She's really got this long haulers pretty bad. So if you can include my sister Mary in your prayers, I really would appreciate it. But if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share it if you think somebody might like to see it. As always, stay safe, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.